Hi, this is Paul from the Handy Guys Podcast, back with another episode about appliances. Yes, we've done several videos and many podcasts about modern appliances. But as you know, I've had many problems with my refrigerator. It's a modern appliance. It's six, seven years old, and I've now had to repair it several times. I've documented this in a previous podcast you'll find here. And I also have a video on, on fixing the water tank. I've also had to replace the control board. It looks like this, this is the old one, and that fixed my defroster problems. However, the problem I had most recently is that intermittently the water and ice dispenser would not work. Put a glass up to it, wouldn't get any ice, or if you switch it to the water setting, you wouldn't get any water. That's ridiculous. Eventually, it stopped working altogether. The ice maker was working fine. If you open the freezer, you could see that ice was being made. So I narrowed it down to it not being a water problem, which is sometimes the case when you have a dispenser problem. You can't get water because the tube going to the dispenser is frozen, or because your valve is broken, or because you have a bad control board. So when you depress the button, the control board, which is the computer of the refrigerator, is not calling for water correctly. Okay, I fixed it. All right, in my case, I simply followed the electrical connection that goes from the water dispenser down below the freezer door. So you have to remove the kick plate, look behind it, and you'll see a coupler, an electrical connection where it's coupled together, and I saw that that connection did not look good. There was some corrosion, and that's where my problem was. I needed to fix that electrical connection. It's not working again. All right, all right, I understand. I wasn't happy with it not working either. What I had to do was simply use just a few tools. It's a very easy project. You need a screwdriver. You need some sort of electrical tool. Some, uh, these are wire uh, strippers. Um, you need also a crimping tool. This pair of wire strippers has some crimpers on it and uh, some actual wire crimpers. Uh, these are uh, wire connectors for crimping two small wires together. I think it's about 18 gauge wire. So uh, you don't need the heavy duty twist on connectors for this job. Also perhaps some electrical tape to finish the job. And so what I had to do was cut away at the coupler and then reconnect it. Very simple, once I did that, my water dispenser began working again. And I got my family off my back.